Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to Bahu Automation Club. In this session, we will try to learn relative locators with multiple elements. In the last session, we have already seen how to deal with relative locators in Selenium 4 with uh, like above, uh, below, and left off, right off, all those things, right? Uh, so let's try to do this practically first, uh, how to deal with multiple elements in Selenium. So first of all, uh, understand what is a single element and what is multiple elements. So find element is the method in Selenium. So this command is used to uniquely identify the web element within the web page okay? using find element. We are always type uh, like a, uh, in script, we are always type like a driver dot find element. Okay, if you are creating a object of web driver and assigned to the prune driver and uh, we have with the reference variable like a driver, if you define like a driver as a reference variable, which is drive your entire script, right? So that driver dot, we are always write like a find element. But what is find element? So this is the command to use the unique, uniquely identify the wave element within the page for a single element. Always understand, okay? And find elements is what? This command is used to uniquely identify the list of wave elements with within a web page. On a web page, if you use find elements, it will identify the list of web elements. If you use find element, it will identify single element. There are multiple ways to uniquely identify the web element within the web page, such as ID, class name, uh, like name, link text, pass, link text, tag name, and xpath. And now we have seen uh, in the last session, like relative locators with Selenium above, below, near, right, left up. Okay, through this locators, we can find the element or find elements in Selenium. Now, what is the difference between find element and find elements exactly? So this is the commonly asked interview questions as well. Okay, what is the difference between find element and find elements? So find element method, this command is used to access any single element on the uh, on the web page okay but find elements method this command is used to uniquely identify the list of web elements this is the main and major difference between find element and find elements it will return an object of the first matching element of the specified locator whatever the locator you have specified it will return an object of that first matching and uh, the huge uh, the uses uh, of the method is very limited if you uh, if the element doesn't exist on the page then then it will return a value with an empty list okay if there is no like uh, element present on the web page then find elements read method will be written an empty list of that uh, list of that particular locator it will throw no such a element exception when it will uh, fails to identify the element, but it will return empty. If you use find element, it will throw like exception, no such a element exception, but it will return an empty list. Okay, so this is the major difference. It's a uh, commonly used uh, like methods like a find element and find elements. If you want to perform action on multiple elements on the web page, then you have to use the find elements method. Okay, we still time we always work with find element, find element, find element itself. But now we will try to learn find elements. If you want to want to deal with the multiple elements on the web page using Selenium Web Driver, then how to do it? Okay, so let's start with the practical example of this. We have already Eclipse open, and in the last session we have already seen relative locators, like uh, how to deal with the little locators on Amazon uh, dot in or sign in this is the business list. So I'll create a one more class here, like a name, last name, okay, and name as Selenium underscore multiple elements. We are working with Java itself, so I'll write a main method here. Main, okay. Uh, we are not uh, currently dealing with any like a test engine or any uh, JNU framework. We are just uh, written simple script in Java. So we have to, Java always run with main method. So I will just write a main method. Okay, I'm not uh, wasting more time. So I'll just copy this uh, code and uh, to open this business page of Amazon uh, dot sign in. And uh, also we'll, 
uh, we have set up this Chrome driver uh, browser version, which is my current browser version. Okay, how to deal with the web driver manager and uh, how to set up the browser version. If you um, guys not able to understand these two lines, you can watch uh, all previous uh, session related to the web driver manager and uh, you will get a better idea on this. So this is the web driver manager which deal with the Chrome driver and this is the browser version we are uh, currently uh, working with. And this is the web driver. This is the reference variable of web driver, uh, Chrome driver object. Okay, so through this driver, we can drive an entire script. So we are launching Amazon dot sign in page. So how to deal with uh, uh, with uh, Amazon? Uh, this is the business page, and uh, if I want to, like uh, I have already inspect this element here. So like if I want to uh, get all the elements which having like a link normal tag okay link normal as a class so there are multiple elements on this web page like uh, this one also have because uh, whenever you click on this uh, particular link you are redirecting on some other page right so this is the uh, links which uh, if you want to find all these links on this particular web page then how to deal with this all the links okay i want to find all the links which uh, uh, which having this a uh, link normal as a class and this uh, a as a tag name. So first of all, we'll create a export for this uh, or uh, we can use it CSS later as well. But for practice purpose, we will create a export. So double slash a. This is the tag name for this. Okay, and uh, we can write as at the rate class is equal to. So the class name um, for this all the link is uh, same, right? Class name is a link normal. Okay, if you create an X path like this and hit enter, so it will find a five elements with this. Okay, so these are the multiple elements on the web page which having the same X path, like one, two, three. Okay, and uh, some four and five which is hidden, which is not showing here right now, but three are showing like a power hour with password then customer services and then uh, condition of use and privacy policy so this is the one x path which having uh, a same x path for multiple elements so if you if you want to deal with this one how to work with uh, like list of event whenever you use a find element in the previous sessions we are finding one single particular element right now we are dealing with the multiple elements okay so how to deal with multiple elements? So first of all, we require to write uh, right here like a list, okay? List of web elements. Element, we can give any name here like a normal links is equal to, this time we can write like a driver dot, and this time we will select this find elements method. Okay, not find element single we have you know, we, we require to select find elements is the method okay by x path which is we have already created by dot x path okay, and we'll paste that x path here okay required to copy this that x path from here we have already created that one just copy this big one and paste it here Okay, so now we require to import this list from Java. Again. So we'll import it and we require to import this web element from also Selenium, which is a standalone jar uh, Selenium core we have already imported. Now we have list of web elements. Okay, there are multiple elements in this. So we require to write a one single for each loop for this and it will uh, run through the first element to the last element of this particular list and it will return us okay so we'll write a simple for loop here like a wave element a until this normal link okay normal links and this for use now if i write here like a system dot out dot print element okay and if you will want to get text of this one a dot get text all these elements we require a text of all these element as we have a text here like a forget password 
like uh, customer services, conditions of use, privacy for notice, all, all, all this. So we will take the text of that all the elements or and check whether we are able to find all that elements in the, using uh, this single X path or not. Okay. So let's uh, run this program and we will try to see the output. Okay. We'll, uh, you can run as a right click with Java application as well or otherwise you know, just click here and we will be able to run the program. Now Chrome driver is launched. Business page of uh, Amazon is launched. Right, uh, this is the output. Right, perfectly. We have successfully find forget password, target password, customer services, condition of use, uh, and uh, privacy notice. Uh, all the four things. Perfect. So this is how we can deal with the uh, multiple elements in CMO. Four. Now this is a normal find elements which we have uh, used. Right. Now if I want to deal with the relative locators. Okay. If I, I want to deal with related locators with find multiple elements, the so same way we can find the multiple elements uh, using relative locators like above, below, whatever you want, right? So this for loop is end here, right? So what we can do, we are simply write, uh, write, uh, simply write. Like for example, uh, you can take any example on this web page. Okay, if I want to take an example of like. Okay, this is the customer service link, right? If I want to, all the elements which is having like uh, any tag here, okay, sign in a uh, okay, label. So this is the text. Okay, any tag name with label. If I want all the labels which having tag name with label above of this customer services. Okay, or we can take uh, like uh, any element from uh, here and we can check all the labels, uh, tag names with label, all the elements with tag name with label below. Whatever you, your relative locator you want to use, you can use it. Okay, I'll show you one practical example of relative locators. If I want to uh, like uh, uh, all the elements which are having this label tag above from this customer service uh, element. So how to deal with that, okay, using relative locators in Sydney. So first of all, find the X path of this element, customer services. Okay, I'm not wasting much time. So to creating a X path. Okay, I'll just simply go to pro path and copy this X path from here. So this is the X path, unique X path for this particular element. So I'll just paste it here. Then I want a all the elements which is having label class, uh, label tag uh, above from this particular element, right? So I'll simply creating one list again, list of element because all the elements, okay, multiple elements you want to find. So wave element. Element now above elements. Means is equal to we can find like a driver dot this time we are finding the elements with a relative locators like so we will use again here driver dot find elements but this time we will use as a relative locators so we will use relative locators okay relative locator dot not locators dot relative locator dot with by right by tag name so tag name will use like a label right so we want to the all the elements which having label tag above of this particular so like this element having label tag right so we'll take this as one as a label okay. so this is the tag name which we have and uh, now we want to find all the elements right so using above as the relative locator so we'll type here like a dot dot above dot above by locator which locator by x path we have already copied that x path so we'll just copy this one and we'll paste it here that's perfect so this is how we can store all the uh, elements above with this particular locator which having label tag so just to deal with this, I'll just creating one for again for loop for here. 
simple for loop uh, like again for for each loop we can create like a wave element wave element uh, like we will define as a wave element <clears throat> now this time b is equal to uh, b colon above till above elements will run till above elements close now if i print here like a system dot out dot print if i print here like a b dot get test if we print like this b dot get text now let's see we, whether we are able to print all the elements which having label tag above of this particular element customer services so just run this program through this button or you can right click and run as a uh, java application as well okay so i'm running here so chrome it will launch chrome driver first okay so chrome driver launch chrome browser first and uh, we'll open business sign in uh, page and yes perfect we are uh, successfully run uh, our program uh, where we have already used the normal links with find elements where we have uh, print like this forget uh, password customer services and all those things and uh, above this element we have print all the elements like uh, uh, which having label text like the uh, keep me sign in for uh, password and element uh, image or mobile numbers if i uh, like uh, 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 like Comment, comment out this and uh, if I run it again, so we will get a better output. So just run it so that we will able to understand whether we are able to print all the label which having uh, all the elements which have label uh, tag name or not. Okay, so program is perfectly run. So keep me signing uh, in details. Keep me signing in details. Forget uh, only password and email or mobile number. On this web, web page, email or mobile number. Keep me signing uh, like this. Keep me signing in details. So these are the element which having label class, label tag name. So we have successfully find out the uh, through the relative locators uh, above all the elements. So guys, I'll give you one assignment. Find out all the elements uh, which having tag name A, uh, tag name A after this sign in with business credential element. Okay. All the elements you uh, want to find out, okay, which having tag name A, up, uh, like a below of this particular uh, element, like a sign in with business credential. So, this is the assignment. We ha you have to complete it by tomorrow. Okay. Practice uh, by yourself. Okay, this is the normal list which we have created, and uh, we have learned how to find multiple elements in Selenium using normal, and also using relative locators. Okay, if you have any doubt regarding this, you can just comment out me. I'll give you the answer on this. Okay. okay. Till time, if you like the video, don't forget to share and subscribe to Bahu Automation Lab and share it to your friends so they have to get a practical knowledge on Selenium code. Okay. So let's meet in next chapter where we will see uh, how to capture screenshot of elements in Selenium. Okay. Till time, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.